Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Aztec Aggression campaign in Europa Universalis 4. We're about to win our war against Canada, and uh, eventually... Hey, we can actually fabricate claims on the Huron now. Good. So the next war with the Huron, we'll take a province there. We'll fabricate another claim on the Chickasaw at some point. All of our diplomats are tied up. I think probably the least likely person is Poland or Ottomans. Well, let's get that guy back. It's going to take three months. I think Austria will accept. I mean, they're friendly already, assuming that nothing's changed. Let's throw those artillery forward. We've got five here. This is plenty of war score. We are already at 52% overextension, but these are all former colonies, so I don't believe they will cost overextension. 98% chance here. Wow. Well, for the 98% chance, we have to let it succeed, right? Okay, so, um, I need a diplomat, please. Would be nice to take these colonies. And military check 21. We'll wait until January, just on the off chance we can get an extra discount. This is terrible, okay. The only relationships we have are military access. Two colonies about to finish, good. Oh shoot! The army never had a chance to actually fight them. Alright, well... You're just gonna have to go do it. Go deal with it. Tlacalel Maxikakakazin. You can do it. Also, we're below our force limit by quite a bit. We've got a lot of manpower, so... I think it's time to, uh, to train a few more guys. So if we're to fight, let's say we're fighting Great Britain, right? What's our combat width? Combat width is 19 plus the default 15. So that is 20 plus 14. That's 34. So we're going to want to have at least 34 cannons. At least. Just so that when we fight the big fight, we can have an entire back row of cannons. So let's make another 11 cannons. There goes all of our money. I'm failing to uh, to do this mission, to accumulate money. It's just not happening. This is a horrible battle. Nine. Watch him roll another nine. Okay, we'll take the eight to one. And the zero to seven. You know, all they'd really have to do to make me not complain about rolls so much is just make it like a D6 instead of a D10. They just make it so that it's not such a huge swing. Like, that. that's what really pisses me off. Like... There's just too much luck involved. It's just dumb. Holland, what are you doing? I mean, I could always just assault it. Actually, yeah, we'll... We're gonna have to attack Holland over that. We'll assault it and uh, take it over. Hmm. Right, we have a diplomat. Let's peace out Canada. Overextension, 0%. Yes, because they're all former colonies, there's 0% overextension on this land. So we have these four provinces, that's the four that we have claims on right now. Um, plus money, plus probably war operations. Sounds good. Let's go to there. Okay, so... Um, Let's get our alliance with Austria, if they will accept. They will. We do need a diplomat. Alliance offer from Morocco. Uh, no. 
No. I don't I don't really think that that's in my best interest. You're quite weak after all. Hey, Ontario's finished. Oh, hey, base 3. We'll take that. So four colonies on route. We've got two and two. Okay. This can afford to have three more cannons behind it, since it's got eight in the front row. Let's, let's do that. You are moving to Pueblo. 31st. We can't beat you there, so again, we're going to have to attack you in the mountains. Darn it. Your army's smaller, though, and you have far fewer cannons. Um, we waited till January. Let's take this. We did not get an extra bonus. That's fine. Lines, uh, military access from here on, sure. Military access from Norway, sure. Finland, sure. Revolts are likely. Do I have a diplomat yet? Austria. Austria's allied to France. How dare you? How dare you flip on me? You were friendly three seconds ago. Spain is actually neutral. They have not rivaled me. No, what? They have. They have me rivaled and they're neutral. Alright, well fine. Let's improve relations with them and see if they want to stop being enemies. Because if we can get Spain to help us fight France, oh my god. That would be a perfect, perfect thing to do. I mean, tie up the French army with the Spanish army and then we just obliterate Flory Day. That'd be awesome. It's like two rebellions up here. That can be... Uh, actually, we kind of need that leader for this fight. Let's do this one first. I think going in... Well, we don't have full full strength. We can wait a little bit. Since that's the case, let's go ahead and, yes, do these fights first. No leader. And a zero maneuver leader. River crossing between here. Yeah. Oh well. We should grab some of these cannons. We'll take like, uh, four of them. Have them go join that army. Take the other four. Have them go join this army. Just so they're spread out, we don't have any armies that are too, uh, too backwards. Or imbalanced. Okay, we are just recovering 10 men, 100 men per group. Okay, that's fine, just wait. No chance of success there. So, we need to start fabricating claims on Canada again. This time we can get a lot of claims. Oh, that one's actually really likely to go, so let's go do that fight. Please don't succeed. I'd rather you don't. Okay, we got a claim on the Huron. That's good. Alright, as much as I'd like to have that leader help out with that siege, we'll just park the army there and bring him back over here to do this one. Um, there's no chance of success. Let's let some of these other cannons get over there. I mean, hey, you know, 10k manpower, short, might as well. So many pop-ups about natives. And you're supposed to be there. And now we'll move. And we've got a nice big nine in the back row. I like cannons. Shoot him with cannons! Cannons have such a big range. 
More rebellion. Hmm. Well, fortunately, it's nearby. Also sieges. We got up there. We have one over here. Well, I'm glad to check that. We don't want those cannons going through there. Do that one first. He'll take care of that and then go over there. That one's already been taken back. Let's go find a province with a revolt risk and protect it. Good, good. Diplo guy. We have no money. Alright, so Spain, if I stopped rivaling you, would you stop rivaling me? Because I know you want to rival France. I know you do. I'm sure of it. Neutral attitude, they would, I mean, they would almost accept us as a, an ally, even though we're rivals. It's ridiculous. Common rivals, yeah. I can't be rivaled all three of them. The problem is that changing rivals... Removing them will cost us 100 dip. Eh, whatever, let's just do it. They're the only available other rival. Sorry I insulted you, Spain. I want your friend. I want your friendship. I have to attack you soon. Okay, so if we attack Holland, they bring in that. That's it. And they bring in this. Can't get a claim on this, but I, I really don't think I need a claim on this province, honestly. So we're going to seize it. But I, I don't want them over here, do you? We wait until they get to like 900, and then we declare war and we just seize it. Of course, actually, we, we might need that claim just so we have the right to declare war on them, come to think of it. Okay, annex subjects is gone. Having gotten rid of that might make a difference with Spain accepting an alliance. Yes, they'll accept an alliance. They're friendly. Holy crap. We should immediately make them fight France. Just like immediately. Or right this second. I'm going to declare war on France. Make them come attend and help me. Well, so much for this mission. Probably going to fail this mission. Can you fail the mission while while you have negative money? Whatever. I need a diplomat, please. All right, just immediately go after that one. So Spain. Can't believe it, but we're actually going to be allies. How crazy is that? If I were to attack you, Spain would not join. If I were to attack France directly... Come on, there's got to be one, one French province that's not part of a colonial nation over here. I technically have no CB against France, but they would join a CB against France. Wow. Because they just, they just got rid of... Uh... I need for France to colonize. So that I can fabricate a claim on it really quickly and then attack over the colony.
Hmm. Well, these cannons are certainly expensive. Suddenly we're not making much money. France. Clever. Clever girl. Clever blue blob. Getting rid of all of her colonies at once, huh? What's up with that? It's probably because France is at war. No, they're not. Why don't you start new colonies, France? It's like the second French, French Canada formed. They stopped colonizing. Vinland, you've gone crazy. Distant war fighting in another war. Well, crap, maybe I'll just declare no CB war then. 100 administrative points to declare a war against France right now. Take all their colonies. Well, we should start fabricating claims on uh, everything. All the things. First off, are there any important centers of trade that they own that I want? French Louisiana has one. Let's get a claim on Nouvelle Orléans. Anything else that we can get? Chesapeake? What else up here? Oh yeah, they've got... Baie Blanche. We want that. The quicker we can start taking away their military power, or their um, trade power, the sooner the income starts to swing in our favor. Hmm, having to take uh, this guy. We get a claim on French Canada at the same time. I already have claims on every French Canada province that I can. Wow. All right, so Yeah, I think I think before the political situation in Europe changes and they stop being my friend, we need to get them fighting fighting France and preferably losing to France. As long as France doesn't come over here and they just let me trounce the crap out of Florida day. France! Found him! <laughs> Declare war on France! Come on! We must colonize here, now. Right this second. Immediately. Alright, so if all goes to plan, in 180 days, I can start, the colony will start, and then just by having the colony, I'll have adjacency to a French province, so I can fabricate a claim on that, and then within a year, so within about a year and a half, we'll have an actual legitimate excuse to declare war on France directly. Spain will join that war because they're, um, they will, and then we just, just beat the snot out of Floride, French Canada, and French Louisiana. And we still have some cores here, like... I can take cores back, too. Assuming they don't expire soon. Still Aztec culture. So we'll never lose it. Good. Just with Chickasaw has ended. I suppose we should do that. By the time this colony starts, one of the other diplomats should be home. Salt France. I like that one. It's probably more important than the claim on Chickasaw. So let's do that. Let's 
Soto. Okay, um, colony, 91 days. Yeah, we'll still start the fabricated claim on Chicksaw. Oh, 74 days, damn. Sending an insult took a long time. Alright, cool, well, I'm gonna take a break here, and we're going to... This is gonna happen. We're just gonna... We're finally, finally, after centuries of, of, of suffrage! <laughs> we're gonna get our claim against France, we're gonna kill him. It's gonna be great. So, thanks for watching, everyone, I look forward to seeing you soon. See you in a bit.